Hi, my name is Nicola Irving. Um, I'm the joint owner of Irving's Farmfresh with my husband, Alan. We've been in business since 2006 and in Camrose County since 2008. We operate a pork processing facility here on the farm and we also farm and raise our own homegrown Berkshire pork. We like the Berkshire pigs because they are a, a heritage breed and do well in a natural outdoor pork environment. Uh, they run around, they have uh, shelter when they need it, they have free access to food and water and are just allowed to behave naturally and do what pigs do best, which is mostly digging in the dirt and uh, sleeping. So, um, In the meat shop we make a whole variety of products from our own pork, plus uh, we do purchase and buy in meat from other local farms and we make all sorts of ham, bacon, sausage, and then we also make some British style products too, because we originate from England and um, make some of the products from that we miss from back home in the UK. When you're looking to buy our products, we have a little farm store right here on the farm. It's open Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can also come during the week. Uh, we just ask that you give us a call before you make the drive out, just to make sure someone's going to be here. Good morning, I'm Nicole DeBoon. I'm Paul DeBoon. And we are the owners of Versa Fiberglass Products here in beautiful Meeting Creek, Alberta. Hubert DeBoon, Paul's dad, started the business over 45 years ago. We build fiberglass sewer and water tanks. Sounds glamorous, right? We have been here, we took over the business about nine years ago, and we have been working ever since to provide services for people all around Alberta. Basically, we like it here at Soul Central. We can be anywhere three or four hours, deliver the tank to people. We help install our products. People like the fiberglass tanks because they are lightweight. They last a very long time. We've got some tanks in the ground, 45 years plus. Uh, fantastic alternative to our competition, I guess. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm Paula Nicole's daughter, and we're about to build a part using our lid mold. We use the chopper gun and a little elbow grease, and um, once it's cured, we can use the lid to put on one of our tanks. Lots of hand-on as a small business, we really rely on quality control and uh, when people phone they get me on the phone they don't get some computer and we really like honesty and integrity and and the small town feel for sure which which we get here we're celebrating the grand opening of the seed cleaning plant it was built with copious amounts of concrete rebar steel and electrical wire be assured, it hasn't been held together with Baylor twine. This project began back in 2019. We've thought, well, maybe we should consider looking at building a, a new plant going forward. The original budget for this project was just over $7.3 million and a timeline of five years to finish the project. We're pretty happy to come in with a contingency of just over 6%. And we're also, unlike many projects in this community, are two years ahead of schedule. The newly established Sea Clean Plant in Camrose County offers comprehensive grain cleaning and separation services, catering to the needs of local agriculture producers. The inception of this project dates back to 2019 when a proposal was put forth to replace the existing Sea Clean Plant facility, which was originally built in 1964. This Sea Clean Plant began with a great design, the vision of Paul King and the plant manager Murray Von Patton. The County Council agreed with the long-term vision and approved the sizable financial investment. The newly constructed sea cleaning plant situated on a municipally owned parcel in the Malang Industrial Park. The selection of the current plant location was a deliberate decision to avoid ongoing issues such as noise, dust and seed treatment concerns within the city limits. In choosing the site outside the city, the seed plant management sought to establish in an area east of Camrose and central to the clientele establishing the business to maintain its existing customer base while fostering potential growth. We take pride in the fact that Camrose County was able to engage numerous local suppliers in this project. This new facility boasts 64,000 bushels of storage and two 100-foot scales. 
It has two and a half times the storage capacity over the previous plant and can process grain almost twice as fast. The plant is equipped with a debeerder, aspirator, pre-cleaner, screen machine, gravity table, nine roll indent, and a seven bank color source. Furthermore, a high capacity seed treating system has also been installed, which weighs the grain as it enters the treater and also measures the liquid treatment, improving the application accuracy of the seed treatments. The incorporation of automation and advanced equipment has dramatically increased the efficiency of this plant. The strategic placement of our new seed cleaning plant has bestowed our agricultural community with a facility that not only offers logistical benefits, but also enhances productivity and capacity, ensuring a prosperous future. The Cameras County Seed Cleaning Plant is the only municipally owned seed cleaning plant in Alberta and is financially self-sustainable. My name is Leanne and my business is Ray of Health and Boutique. I offer body balancing, detoxing through supplements, and I also work on animals as well. I got into this kind of work as a client myself. I got into a car accident and I got really sick with fibromyalgia and endometriosis. I went to a guy that does Touch for Health and he got me back up on my feet and I changed careers. Well, having fibromyalgia, I had a lot of trouble with heavy jewelry. So I just started making my own. I made what I was looking for and I loved it and other people loved it. My favorite part about the business is the clients. I get to make people feel better. I get to relieve pain. They get off the table and they have relief and they're calmer and life's just a little bit better. I'm Neil Bratchute. I'm the Petroleum and Agro Operations Manager for Wild Rose Co-op. We offer uh, crop inputs such as fertilizer, chemical and seed for our farmers. We also sell uh, grain handling and storage equipment, oils, grease and we sell fuel out of this location. Out of this facility we have 10 full-time employees and we service a 50 kilometer radius out of Camros Agro. What's unique about Wild Rose Co-op is that we are a member-owned business. We offer lifetime uh, membership benefits and we uh, are a profit-sharing business model. At Wild Rose Co-op, we think customers should choose us because we have excellent products and services and uh, we can help your farm.